Hello guys, are you lacking some XP? You really want to enchant a book with telekinesis 1 because you don't really want to spend 100 coins in the gold mine and you're like, okay, I have no, I don't have 64 levels, man. What do I really do now? What do I actually do? How do I get the most XP? How do I get XP? I, I'm early game guy. How do I get XP? Well, it's pretty simple. Early game people, you do, you don't do that much damage, right? Yep. So, one strategy is very simple. You go to the deep caverns, which is pretty easy to get. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll guide you guys if you're early game, okay? Because I'm not sure if you guys even know where the deep caverns is. So basically, you you don't go this side. You go this side. Go straight forward. You go to the coal mine. Yep, right here, the coal mine. And then uh, get your mining level up because you need it to unlock the next area. The next area is the gold mine. And then after the gold mine... It's the deep cavern, so you go to the gold mine, and then you have to increase your mining level once again until it reaches a certain amount. It says it in the portal, okay? If you don't know how to read, I'm sorry, bro, but it should be here. There would be like a requirement, and you go to the deep caverns, and that is when you start getting good XP, okay? There are two ways to get EXP in the deep caverns. Uh, vanilla EXP. Not, not, I'm not talking about combat or anything like that. I'll do a separate video for that one. But basically, you go to the very bottom. You just like find a path all the way to the bottom. And once you do find the Obsidian Sanctuary, you unlock it permanently. Now you can use the elevator and then kill these mobs. And then they give you a good amount of XP. Look. That's like, yeah, I leveled up once. That's actually not bad. Or you can mine some diamond ores. They do give you EXP, but you should wear lapis armor. And you know how I get lapis armor. Lapis armor, you kill the mobs on the lapis area, the lapis quarry, which is like above the obsidian mine. It's like right here. This is one, the second level. So yeah, you you kill you, you kill uh, them, and they drop lapis armor, and then you can like wear it, and then it gives you. Extra EXP for mining diamond ores. That's nice. And you're wondering, why are these guys not targeting me? Like, can you gain XP just going down without, like, dying? Well, yes, you can. You need an artifact. You need a intimidation artifact. Right here. And how do you get this? You do the spooky event, get enough candies, and unlock this. And you don't even need armor to get XP. That is amazing. Like, you're starting out, you're like, I don't have armor, I don't want to die to these guys, I want to get some XP. Yeah, get an Intimidation Artifact, and then just kill these things. Slowly kill them if you have, like, no damage. But then, you're like, ah, these guys are not giving me that much XP. And you're like, okay, okay, okay. And you have a friend, right? You have a friend. So you can, you can go to the end, which is, oh my god, I have to guide everyone. All right. Warp Hub, how do you get to the end? <laughs> exactly. You go to Spider's Den, which is sur s around this area. I haven't used the portal since a long time. So I, I don't know if I know the exact direction. I think it's, yeah, right here. The graveyard. Yep, you go to the graveyard area. There will be a portal right here. That's the Spider's Den. And you need combat level to unlock the Spider's Den. Once you go to the Spider's Den, that will be nice. You can kill some spiders if you want to get some XP, but that's not really the best way. The best way is you kill some. All right, you kill, have to kill some spiders, okay? And then level up your combat a bit by killing the spiders. And then you go to the end. The end should be somewhere here. It, it should be pretty obvious, right here, right here. You need a certain amount of combat level to like unlock this. And then you go to the end. We and then you have a friend, right? This is really good if you have a friend. You can still get a good amount of XP just killing Endermans by yourself. You go to the very bottom. This is if you, assuming you have enough damage. Uh, oh, that's something that was sponges. But this is assuming you have enough damage. Like 9k, one hit. them. No. Alright, stop, stop it. So basically you have a friend throw up Ender Pearls. And then you kill them. And you both share XP because uh, you both pick up the EXP orb. And this is pretty fast. And getting some nice vanilla EXP. But you're like, oh, I can't really do this. They're too strong. Where, where else can I get some XP where they're not too strong? And I want to get a lot. And the very best way is you go to coal mine again. You turn left. This is assuming you have enough damage. Because these guys actually do a lot of damage. Like the Endermans, if you have 9k damage and you hit him, 
uh, they just die. They don't attack you. Like, they don't actually aggro on you. These guys aggro on you, so you will take some damage if you don't uh, strafe them and one-shot them, okay? Like, you, you don't have to one-shot them, but, like, you have to strafe them. But, yeah, basically, you just kill these guys. They give you a lot of XP. Look at how much, like, orbs this is. This is a big orbs. Look at it. Gigantic, bro. Yeah, and you get that much XP, and you're cool. You're like, anybody, if you're like, I don't want to really sort these things... Well, a lot of people just kill the crypt goals and they just leave the XP behind. So, see, look at that. People just leave the XP behind, just pick it up, just run across. And just like, ooh, let me see, free XP, free XP, let me, oh, free XP, look at that, free XP. Just run across, take the XP and just run away. Hopefully, you can tank everything, though. But, yeah, that's how you get vanilla XP. And, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I hope it helps, because, like, this is this is probably the best way to get uh vanilla EXP though. Not gonna lie. I gained like a lot of XP really fast. Another way is to fish, uh, but it takes a while. Fish, why do you fish? You fish, you get granny XP bottles, and granny XP bottles give you a good amount of EXP. And sometimes there's a chance to get a Titanic EXP bottle, and Titanic EXP bottle gives you like two hundred something. For one splash. That's a lot of XP. Let me show you what a uh, granny XP bottle looks like. I don't have a Titanic with me. I, you can check in the auction. It, it's pretty simple. You just search it up. I don't, I don't think I even have a granny XP bottle right now. But basically, yeah, that. Or you can just have a lapis minion setup. Like right now, I have clay minion setup. Just have lapis, a bunch of lapis minions. And then, you know, you can craft some granny XP bottles or titanic EXP bottles if you really want to. It's in the mining recipe. You go to the... Well, you go to the collections, uh, mining, lapis, you'll see the good stuff. See, granny XP bottle, you require this much stuff. And the titanic EXP bottle, you also need a, a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's really good. I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, if you also... <laughs> I don't know why you would want to create some XP bottle. I think you need it to craft the granny XP bottle, actually. No, you don't. So I don't know why you would need that. But yeah, experience potion. Yeah, experience potion is also pretty good to make. Uh, It's pretty cheap as well. Look at that. You should make some. They actually boost your XP orbs by a good amount. And at the very end, you must get an experience artifact. This really helps. You should get this because it's an accessory. You can reforge it, give yourself more damage, and you also gain a lot more orbs. So, I hope that helps. See you in the next video.